hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see fifa 23 not launching on steam let's fix it guys you just need to disable overlay features to do this if you use the nvidia app then go to settings and turn off the in-game overlay after turning off open up steam and select the steam tab and select settings and go to in game on right side enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off after that Open up EA application and uh, go to settings. We on three line and select settings and go to application and uh, scroll down. In game overlay, turn it off. Select uh, turn off and now launch the game and check if the problem is solved or not. If not, uh, method two, you just need to open up EA app and uh, click on the three line on the top and select uh, help and select uh, app recovery option. This will get your pop up to clear cache. Select the clear cache option. After clearing the cache, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If not, uh, method 3, you just need to check my video description for these two links uh, AMD and NVIDIA. Uh, you just need to select your graphics card model, guys. If you don't know your graphics card model, go to search menu and type a device manager and click on open it. Up. On left side, expand the display adapter section. And here, if my graphics card model is listed guys as you can see i have rtx 5080 and now in here select geforce select your graphics card model series select your graphics card model and select your operating system and select your language and select find option and now just to scroll down and next to game ready driver select view option and select the download option after getting download done install the downloaded driver guys for AMD users, scroll down and please select in here, browse, select graphics, select the graphics card model over here, select submit option, expand it depends on where windows you have and download the recommended driver guys as it mentioned recommended, select the download option next to it. And after getting download done, install this driver guys. After the installation done, restart your PC. After restarting, your problem should be fixed. Don't forget to leave a like guys. Thank you.